Alright, hello everybody. How are y'all doing? Hello, hello. Get some water in my system. Boju Yongatsu da yo? Ooh. Is this lol sacks? Nice death mat. Thanks. Avo, one drunk man. Ten peaches, thank you so much for the 14 months. For the Ju Yongatsu. Thank you, thank you so much. Nice hair, Diego. Thanks. Thank you so much, Eric. Yeah, I did get a haircut recently. Jokobo, thank you so much for the 14 months as well. Just saw. Thank you so much. Dr. Killswitch, hello. Welcome. Pork, hello. Elf of Kingdom. Nalio. Nice haircut. I wish I could have one. Nachos. Give me them stickers, BB. <laughs> Exclamation sticker for that. JD has nice hair today, too. <laughs> he looks good. All right, so my keyboard's all the way up here because I'm need I'm going to be doing some um, some unboxings and stuff. Uh, it's pretty hot in my room today, <laughs> so sorry about the AC. It's just kind of warm. It's just my room gets hot actually. It's not even that hot outside today. But, all right, let's um let's get to it, shall we? So let me just uh, just check a few things here. So first of all, I wanted to announce that um, we hit 10k followers on Instagram. Thank you so much to everybody who um, has followed and thank you so much for all the support. Uh, finally got that swipe up. <laughs> uh, although I don't really have many good reasons to use it, but it's there now. <laughs> um, yeah. It's been hot in Cali. Oh, I bet it's been really hot in Cali. Oh, one drunk man asked me to hug JD. Okay, JD can come for the hug, or I'll go for the hug with Mr. Mr. JD. JD says hi. It's nod. Hello, hello, dark action. No wonder it's hot in there, ten k. <laughs> Anyway, thank you everybody. You deserve it all. Oh, Steel Blue, thank you so much. LF Kingdom, thank you, thank you. Do you like Alex and post a selfie with the stream swipe up? Oh yeah, maybe I should do that. Now that I got a haircut, maybe I should do that. Yeah. Oh, uh, oh, my exclamation keyboard command is wrong. I just realized. I'll uh, I'll uh, change it up in just a little bit. Just reading chat for now. Nine Walker, fifteen months, so fast. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, buddy. How are you doing today? All right, I think I updated the exclamation keyboard command now. I believe. I did not ignore your resub, Nine Walker. <laughs> I was just late to it. That's all. I was just late to it. Hander by for typing test. Oh, okay, Avo. <laughs> All right, I guess we might do that today. You have numpad for hander bite, right? Uh, yeah, hander bite comes with a numpad, pretty sure. So yeah, might have a special keyboard coming in soon. Ooh, okay. All right, so. A minute or two. Uh, 
Okay. And then. Oh yeah, do you guys check out the uh, the keyboard meetup details? Um, I just real I was just checking the other day the novel keys keyboard meetup, right? Uh, where's what's the, what was the website? Was is it the keyboard meetup dot com? I forget. The keyboard meetup dot com, yeah. The keyboard meetup dot com is the website for the upcoming keyboard meetup in at Novel Keys is town, Morgantown, West Virginia. It's going to be held in mid October. Um, it's on a Saturday, and there's tickets being sold now. Uh, if you're interested in um, attending an event uh, where there will be panels and breakout sessions, vendors and all sorts of enthusiasts coming in from everywhere. Uh, this might be the first biggest meetup in a while uh, since COVID. Um, so that's something that um, <clears throat> will be happening in October. Are you going to it? I might, yes. Um, I am still looking into my availability. Um, I, I do have a bunch of stuff going on in this uh, this fall. So I'm, I'm, I'm looking into attending, but uh, I haven't bought my ticket just yet. I'm, I'm, I'm about to decide uh, whether I'm going to be going. Hendervite Alpha CRP Moss for the balance. <laughs> That'll be interesting. Yo, Baby Rage, what's up, buddy? That hotel is baller. Yeah, I haven't been to West Virginia, so I can't say much about it. Um, yeah, but I know that it's, uh, yeah, it should be good, though. It should be pretty good. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, I was I was just looking at uh, the novel keys Instagram the other day, and I was like, oh yeah, that's right, that's happening. Forgot about it for a bit. Alright, let's get unboxing a few things here. Do you need, still need to buy tickets as a sponsor? Yeah, I would think they would just let you attend. Oh, yeah, I think it would be okay. But, you know, uh, I still probably still do have to buy a ticket, I think. Just because it's part of the... I mean, because ticket, ticket costs uh, will most likely uh, cover, like, logistics fees and whatnot. So, yeah. I mean, I could ask if I could have it waived, but, yeah. I don't think... I, I, I'm not, like... I don't need to ask for it, really. Yeah. Rivius, thank you so much for the ten months. Yo, good evening. What's up? Do you know any good macro number pads? Uh, so the meetup's going to be held at in West Virginia, Morgantown, and then macro number pads. Well, if you need a macro pad, I have one right here. This is the Stellar Twelve by Space Cables. Uh, I'm not sure if there's any in the aftermarket or if Space. I don't think Space is any doing any more drops right now, but um. This ran a couple times, the Stellar 12 by Space Cables. There's a few others though, there's like the Ramaworks M6C. Um, there's like M10s also. The M6C for example, there's an Oblivion one running currently on Novel Keys. And there's a, is there a Botanical one also running um, through Omnitype. So those are some options you do get. Alright, let's unbox a few things. Alright, let's start. Big or small? Let's say let's let it, let's start with the small first. It's right here. All right, so I got some mail from from just another enthusiast. This is probably just personal mail, but let's start with something small. It has a Swackies box, but I think it's just repacked, repackaged. Oh. Stellar 12 looks like it's in stock at Space Cables. Okay, so I can recommend the Stellar 12. I think it's pretty nice. Are these major figurines? I believe this one it should be, but yeah, there it is. So I got these guys from a fellow in Canada. Fellow enthusiast in Canada. These are just two blanks that I got. This is a uh, moon blank by Nightcaps. Moonblink by Nightcaps and a little neon, pink neon blank 
by the Skuma Den. Skuma, S K O O M A, and then Den, D E N. Very nice. Looks like nice cherry, nice cherry butts should work pretty well. I don't think there's anything else in here though. Okay, that's about it for this one. Nothing crazy. Alright, let's unpack the next one. I have an affiliate link for it too if you need it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think you just need to append the. Uh, all you need to do is append uh, like a like a suffix for the affiliate link. But yeah. I won my first kiwi from the re recent uh, COSM raffle. Oh, congratulations! Okay, all right, sure. I can send you the link. In just a second. I mean, you just need to tag this to the end, so it's gonna be AFF equals lightning. There. All right. So here I got a. Obviously, you can tell that this is a desk mat, right? Um, <laughs> it's a box that fits a desk mat. So we got a desk mat today. Have I ever asked you what knife that was? Oh yeah, do I have a knife command at all? I actually don't know if I do. Nope, I don't. Uh, this is the QSP... QSP Puffin, I think, from Drop. I got it from... yeah. It's... I'll link it in chat. Pretty sure it's... this one. All right, so this is package is from Dane Keebs. Um, this actually came from Mr. Uh, Mr. J.K. Keebs, uh, who is running um, GMK Hanok. Uh, this is this is the GMK Hanok desk mat. So that's why actually I had removed the keyboard from the desk. Um, because I wanted to put the new desk mat on right away, just to, sh just to show you guys. Alright, so... Alright, let's check it out. Ooh! Oh wait, it's opposite. It's the other way around. Yo! Basic! Man, what's up? Five months, thank you so much. Hello, hello, how are you doing? Wait! Uh, Ben, are you streaming today? I thought I thought I saw an announcement that you were streaming later in just a bit. So this is the GMK Hanok Deathmat. I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Been busy lately. <clears throat> I'll be streaming in a bit. Sounds good. Yeah. So here we have the. This is GMK Hanok Deathmat. Will you be getting Hanok? I will most definitely be getting Hanok. It's a very very cool set. Uh, that I like a lot. The colors are very lovely, brown and beige essentially. Um, good contrast. This desk mat also looks really nice and clean. Uh, the pricing of the kits is pretty good too. Um, so let me show you guys for Jim Kihano. Uh, the link of the group buy is right here. I'll put it in chat. So that's for Jim Kihano. So if you are, if you like the look of this desk mat. Um, if you like the look of this mess, dust mat, or if you're interested in the key set, you can check out Jim Hanok over on Geek Hack, and all the links to the different proxies for the group by are there as well. Um, yeah. Nas the Great, hello. QSP has some dope knives. I've only ever seen the penguin before. Oh, I see. <laughs> bye bye, lol. Says dust mat. Do you use CMYW mod with white and black? Yeah, I do like using CMY or CMYW goes well with white and black and also goes well with um with Dolch. It looks pretty nice with Dolch as well. Regular Dolch. Unfortunately shipping 2030. Yeah, well, <laughs> I can't comment much on the shipping part. I I I know that uh I know that shipping's not great right now. I mean, like, the lead times for GMK is just not good. 
All right. Oh, actually, I'll just leave it here. All right. Next one. Next one that we are gonna unbox. We're also gonna be unboxing this one. Da -da -da. This is actually one out of two boxes. Uh, I did not get the second one yet, but I will show the first one. New Kara prototypes. That indeed should be the case. Now let's see what color we got today. Why is that a sticker? Oh, the fact that it's a sticker makes me even more nervous. <laughs> Could have just been a paper, but it's a sticker. Alright. So I believe this is just the accessories box. So it shouldn't be... should be maybe like just the uh, plate PCB and maybe the dampener. Yeah, leg, uh, here's the feet. Here's cable, puller, hardware, PCB, and uh, internal silicone dampener. All these things that you're showing are available to buy, right? Yes, so the Kara Sequence 2, the second round of the Kara is available currently at Rama.Works. Rama.Works currently has the second round of the Kara. Uh, I can show you here. Ramaworks.store, I guess. Yeah. Here, here is Kara sequence number two. Uh, all the different colors are available there. You can check them out there. All right, so that's the accessories box. Yo, Hamtaro Kebab, hello. Wish it came in Winkeelas, the Kara. Oh, that'll be that'll be that'll be pretty uh that'll be pretty fun actually. But I mean, yeah, part of the appeal is that it's HKB, right? So Rama does love accidentally toxing. Nah, 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 nah. It's okay. Ooh, is this a different box design? Oh no, I think it's still the same. And here is the wonderful um, box art of the Kara. I think it's so lovely. So, so lovely. Nice haircut, thank you so much. Alright, does it say what color here? It... Oh, it, okay. It does not, okay. It doesn't say what color. Alright. It does not say what color, so we're gonna find out. <laughs> we're gonna find out. Okay, we get the assembly manual. It says basically shows you what you will need stabilizers, build guide, via, and keycap selection, blah blah blah. And then basically shows you instructions for all the things that you can do to build it and to program it. Very nice, very nifty. Here is the plates and the mute mounts. And. There it is. So I think this is the bite. I think this is the bite Kara. Bite is bright. Yes, it is. Uh, let's see. Let's give me. Let me give you some references for the bite colorway. Let's see if I can give you some some reference for it. Muso FX, hello. Um, hey man, can you give me your opinion on the NK65 Entry Edition, please? I personally like the Entry Edition quite a lot. Uh, I actually have an NK65 Milkshake Edition, which I do like a lot. Um, but the NK65 Entry Edition is just as good. 
uh, I personally would recommend NK65 Oblivion, not too sure if it's a good board. People recommend it and people will say NK65 does offer uh, one of the greatest bang for the buck along with the KVD67 light is very similar. A lot of 65% out there now that are injection mold and offer a very good deal uh, for the money. Um, and NK65 is one of them, I would say. So I personally would recommend, not just because Novel Keys is one of my sponsors, but most importantly because I personally do think that they offer a great deal. Comes with PCB, cable, the case, uh, carrying case, right? Uh, the switches come installed with it, stabilizers. Um, so pretty much everything that you need to use it available already. Um, so yeah, it's, it's a pretty good deal. I want to get a Kara, but I just bought a KBD67 light a couple days ago, and Sam Pack Pack is building a Tofu 60. Brighter than I was expecting. Yeah, um, I'm gonna bring some reference colors for this. Um, so what should I compare it to? Looks a bit greener than Azor. Yeah, it's definitely greener than Azor. Okay, so to compare it, maybe I have this is GMK. Royal Alpha. This is Jim K Triumph Adler Royal Alpha. So this is what AE colorway. Uh, these are eight the AE mods basically. The AE is a color code for Jim K. So this is basically the, the color comparison for that. And this is like a light, like kind of like a cooler white grayish color. Uh, some other comparisons maybe, maybe like olive. Olive could be a comparison. What's the TK on top? It's uh, it's GM. Uh, sorry, it's LZMP. It's the LZ masterpiece. Uh, this is GMK olive. Let's see if I can zoom in. So that's GMK olive. That's uh, GMK Triumph Adler Royal Alpha. Um, yeah. Make sure to take off that sticker before you flip that case. <laughs> I mean, I still have my round one one, so I'm not flipping anything. Um, but yeah, uh, so some comparisons for the color. Um, what else can I compare it with? What else would work as a comparison? I mean, if you just want to look at a PCB or the green PCB, green PCB protocolors are like this. You have wasabi. I do not have wasabi. So this is a green proto PCB color. It's a little brighter and more translucent than that, as you can see. <laughs> I want to sell Kara Puff 750. <laughs> you don't mean minus 750, do you? Where you have to pay 750 to the person getting it. <laughs> Just kidding. Um. I think I'll get Momo in this round because it's my color. Yeah, Peaches, I think the Momo came out beautiful. Um, I believe, um, who got the Momo? Alex got the Momo, I think, right? I think Alex Odos, Alex Odos po posted a Momo. And I think um, Apiary got a Mint. I, no, wait, she got Mint and Momo? Is that right? Or did she get Mint and... Yeah, I think she got Mint and Momo, I forgot. Yeah. You get Wasabi V2? I did not get Wasabi V2. Oh, she got Tang too? Oh, I see. Anyways, yeah, so some some, some of these color comparisons. Uh, maybe I'll get a... Oh, so... GMK Wasabi should be this color, I think. 3A. So this would this would be the... the uh, come on. Okay. This would be the GMK Wasabi colorway over here. This 3A chip here. I think it's the GMK Wasabi color, or is it 3B? I forget. It was either one of these two, but you can you can check. Yeah. So so this is uh the bite. This is the bite colorway from the second round of Kara's. Uh yeah. How do you get those keycaps? This is a GMK color ring. You can buy. You could purchase it uh from GMK's official store, Unikey. Yeah, you can purchase it from them. Alright. 
just to give a bit of perspective, uh, that's what I have. 909 is 3A, correct? I think so. I just... I need to look it up to confirm. I just don't have it off the top of my head. That's why I can't confirm. But I think you're right. Alright, well, that's a reference for now. Um, I do want to continue with the actual... Uh, with the rest of the stuff that we're gonna do today. Just so that we don't run over on time. But yeah. Some color references for, for now. Uh, I will be uh, working with these cars later on. So, um, yeah. Uh, on a future stream. I think today we'll, we're gonna focus on the balance from Kanakis. And then we'll do we'll do the Kara stuff later on. I feel like I'm sleeping on Jim K. Shashin. Did you p pick up a set? I did not, and I don't plan to, uh, mainly because I already have white on black. And, uh, I think the, uh, the alphas are N9, right? Like the dark gray from like Dolch and whatnot. I am pretty satisfied with what I have. I have like Jim K. Ski data, which is basically N9 with, uh, orange and Jimkey Terminal, which is N9 with light green. So I personally don't feel a strong need for it for Jimkey Shashin. I actually am not too huge on the um, Japanese sub legends for it. So I personally am whatever about it. I do like the novelties. I think the novelties are kind of cute with the photography theme going on for it. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'll regret not picking it up, but at the same time, I kind of don't really have a strong feeling for it. So I think I think I would rather just save money. That's how I feel about it right now. Yeah, it's like I could I might regret it, but I might I probably won't. I probably will be okay without it. Alright. I got the novelties will work with GMK white and black. Oh, you're right. That could... Oh, maybe I should just pick up the novelties. Maybe I'll do that, actually. Yeah, maybe I, I'm going to do the same. I think GMK Shashin's novelties are kind of cute. Yo, Raditz, thank you so much for the 12 months. Oh, one year already. Thank you so much. Uh, congrats on your new one-year sub badge. And also, you can claim a new sticker if you would like. If you haven't before, exclamation sticker. I also ship internationally for the sticker, so oh well, it'll be an envelope, so it'll take a while, but yeah. You can claim one if you would like to. What about GMK Jags? Uh, I haven't looked into GMK Jags too carefully yet. Uh, I it's it's kind of neutral color theme, so I'll have to see if I have a need for it really. Yeah, but I personally um, don't feel a strong need for neutral color. That's other than like what I already have, because I already have quite a few. So, yeah. Gonna eat my Jimkey Pinks in a couple of days. Yo, GZ Prime, hello! Thank you so much for the four months, buddy. How are you doing? Alright, last mail, last piece of mail that I'm unboxing today. And probably the most exciting thing out of today, I personally think, is this. Some of y'all already know what this is. Because it's very obvious what this is. Wait, is it in here? 
it has come. It has arrived. Let's start with the smaller items. Some special features from... Some special features. This is uh, Dave from My Keyboard EU. He somehow has three arms. Uh, he's a mutant. I don't know when he got injected with some X Factor, but he's a mutant. Two of them. So he's definitely a mutant. Oh, this is uh, oh, this is some guy. I, oh, I don't know. Do you guys know this guy? Do you guys know this guy? I don't know him. Some rando. Um, he likes to point at things. He likes to point at things and say, Hey guys, I'm in the shop today. Cutting some things. And uh, always rearranging his office. Always rearranging his office and pointing at a bunch of things. Um, Mr. J from, from Prototypist. Oh no, it's, hey folks. That's right. Hey folks. This is, oh, this is Mr. Topclack himself. This is Mr. Brian from Top Clack. Mr. Quakems. Who's this? I heard he likes MX Browns. The Pog Cham Switch. Mr. MX Browns himself. The best Switch in the world. <laughs> PewDiePie keyboard guy. Oh, who's this? Hmm. He likes eggplants apparently. Speedy Simone. Nice sleeve though. Nice sleeves. Um, looks very cramped in there. That's a very cramped eggplant. Uh, very cool though. Nice hat. Nice hat. No Ron. No Ron to be seen. Too bad. This is Yulia from My Keyboard EU. This must be a Leopold FC980M, most likely. This is a Leopold 1800 layout um, keyboard, basically full size. So that's Yulia. This comes from a very uh, popular photo uh, that uh, she had posted on r slash mechanical keyboards uh, back in 2017, I think. I remember seeing it and I was like, wow, <laughs> keyboards are weird. Um, this is Mr. G Burr from Dixie slash not anymore, now Omnitype, as you can see, with the Alabama heart. Very cool. Must be a lot of Deathmats and Bower 2s in there. There's Zelda. Where's her pet owl? I have no idea. Back when licking and eating keyboard stuff was all the rage, along with posting keyboards with sneakers as a, as a reference, as a size reference. Mr. Chewy! Mr. Chewy himself from Mechs on Deck. And of course, his partner in crime, Osiris. Chewered little. <laughs> The Anpro Pudding Era? The Anpro Pudding Era still is kind of existent though. With the keyboard here of ortholinear pyramids it seems. <laughs> uh, very cute. This is a very nice graphic. Not as much? Yeah, I guess that's true. Milkshakes? Oh, is this, uh, is this just a milkshake cart? So does this mean this is Mr. Bip himself? No face? Whoa. Oh, who's that guy? Oh, 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 look at his, look at his belly. Oh, look at that side fat. Ew, gross. Look at those folds. Ew. Um, apparently I love lifting brass. Uh, that's, uh, I assume that's basically what a key called is like. I don't know what this keyboard is supposed to be actually. It looks cool though. It has a USB-C port and it looks like about 65% size. Maybe it's a TKL. I don't know. Very cool. Who's that guy and why is he floating and why are the keyboards floating? Very good question. Brass or brass? Delight Lightning. Brass is upside down. Yeah, this is this is this is scuffed design. <laughs> this is pretty scuffed design. <laughs> 
<laughs> Maybe it was meant to be put placed in front of a mirror or something. Actually, not even a mirror. A mirror wouldn't even work for this. Wait. Oh no, yeah, you would have to put it in front of a mirror. A double mirror? <laughs> yes, that, that is myself. And this is Mr. Mech Merlin. Apparently he can also float keyboards. He can also make keyboards float. And I think his manual says... Magical... Magical... Mag... Magas? What? I'm not sure- I'm not sure what it says, but this is Merlin himself. It looks like he likes kind of 60% like layouts. Pointy shoes indeed. Very, very stylish. Mad drip. Very nice bow tie by the way, little polka dots on the bow tie. Alright, these are very cool. So these are some features of some characters in the keyboard community. Uh, very nice. Alright, let's... Let's see and roll up the wheel deal here now. I'm sure you have, many of you might have seen this on different posters. Two keyboard masters from different magic schools. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so here is, let's use these as paperweights basically. Here it is. Is beige still the goat? Beige is awesome. All right, that's AIO3. I actually don't know what this is. Some plants, there's some, um, there's cannon keys. Look, cannon keys. Cannon keys, insert coin, there's a cannon right there. Emix Brown, goat king. Uh, there's, there's me. There's Mr. Lightning. Somehow, some kind of Dalai kind of person. That's Tay, Tay Keyboards, Mr. Mendez. Um, let's find Laser Ninja, Holy Pandas. Is this Mr. Keeps? Is this Mr. Keeps? I'm not sure. Uh, Chewy, Osiris, a lot of different keyboards, Keybio, um, some other different keyboards, Artisans, Alice Layout stuff. There's Quakems. Uh, that's a kiwi? Kiwi. Uh, 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 what's his name? Uh, I don't remember. Yulia. Uh, is this, uh, is this, uh, Langylandia? I'm not sure. Wait, who's this? I suck. I suck at, I suck at telling every, everything here. Jeans Shake. Clearly, is this a reference to Mr. P. Wade? I'm not sure. Here it says Weebs. Hey, that's rude. Weebs are great. Keep Town. That's a Keyspresso. Extras when. Um, ISO. I don't. I don't know who this person hiding here is, but someone's hiding here. TX. Here. Uh, Ilum KB. Rama works. Rama. Rama, Kate, there's the Kara, there's the Nemo, the Commission, and the Trays. Um, what else? Other cool references to find. There's so many though. There's some, I don't know who this person is, but some random person. Kitty. Uh, is this Langulandia? I don't know who it is either. Alright, let's move on. Yeah, I don't know. There's Mr. Oh, I don't know that guy. Some, 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 some Korean American dude from the West Coast apparently. Uh, he apparently does keyboards. He's he's kind of popular, they say, but it's okay. Nah, and then and then there's of course Nami and Luffy, the most popular cats of of the community. More popular probably than this man right here. Desk, uh, Desk Hero, Daily Clang, Z Frontier, Apex. Key Cult over here, Key Cult. And then there's Mikibo, Space, Salvin, Salvin, 
Salad Mini, <laughs> uh, Yankar. Uh, there's so much going on here. Uh, Z-Butts, I assume? Z-Butts, house engineer- uh, hand engineering, my bad. Uh, the lazy caps guy. I don't know, some random person who's casting. Bro caps. Um, uh, a lot of different makers. Brew caps, hello. Alpha key caps. I see TRMK. Fugu's night caps. All kinds of people. That's um, Simon. Uh, I don't know who this person is. No, Zambamon, I guess. That's I think that's Sturman Goat. Tiny makes things. Crash himself is in the picture. Uh, not sure who that is. Mr. Ryan Norbauer. Uh, Kef Caps. It says artist in the photo spot. <laughs> Very cute. QMK sign via. Oh, I forgot what that was from. Uh, keyboard photographer. Uh, what's his name? Keyboard waffle over here. Um, and of course, David. He he he. Cherry sign. Oh man, there's so many references here. That's Mint Lotica, Jelly, the dog, Shiba, JWK, Duroc, Minterly, Apiary. Tiny, um, Kale Cherry. There's so much going on here. Wilba Sundial. Oh yes, Wilba Sundial. Oh, that is a good one. Core Danker. Yes, thank you. The one hiding is Soran. <laughs> uh, J with his 240Z indeed, pointing at a TKC 1800. It seems. Um, one way. Oh, that's a good one. Like KBD fans. KBD fans. Poner on the ground? Oh, Poner on the ground! Poner on the ground, that's Ion, I think. Cool. Uh, Novel Keys, Mac Merlin, GMK, uh, Glarsis, Bip, Mr. Alex Otos with the sickest setup. Honestly, so cool. Here is the Tater, the Tater Hater, and uh, the, that plushie, the yeah, I forgot what the plushie's name is. And then Mr. Jeeber from Omnitype. Yeah. And then the doggos. Oh, I guess that's a clavier thing. Prototypist. I think that's it. ISO here, over here. But yeah, there's a lot going on. Uh, but basically this poster was a feature from... Oh, here it says Jane and Alice. <laughs> cool. Um... Yeah, so this basically, this poster is actually a commission done by Mr. Crash Draws. Crash, Crash Draws. Um, it was a commission done by My Keyboard EU uh, in featuring uh, a lot of different community members, known community members and whatnot. And um, yeah, so this poster will be available um, sometime in the future, I hope. I don't know when exactly, but I assume my keyword EU might do a release of some sort. But for now, it's been sent out to uh, the people being featured uh, in the in the community. So for right now, it, like people are just receiving it, uh, including myself. I literally just got this, you know, a day ago or so. Um, so yeah. So yeah, um, I actually bought a poster um, frame over here. So there's a poster frame over here that I'm gonna put it in. Uh, it's a two feet by three feet poster, pretty large poster, uh, 24 by 36. And yeah, all right. Sorry, it took like almost an hour to unbox things, but uh, we're gonna get to the build now. All right, let's get to the build, finally. Imagine not featuring Zambu's dog. One hour unboxings only rival two hour stabs. True. So these are the accessories. We have stabs. We have uh, the gaskets, uh, knob, encoder, daughter board, cable, and daughter board. And then here we have our PCB, which I actually already tested so that I know the PCB works. Here's an FR4 plate for the balance by Canakees. FR4 plate has the tabs for the gaskets. 
Here's a piece of paper that has information about the balance, uh, which I can tell you guys about. Um, the balance is an 1800 keyboard with an Efro, with no Efro and then with a knob. There is a geek hack thread, which is exclamation balance can get you to geek hack thread as well for the group buy. Uh, the colors are already picked. It's going to be navy silver, black silver, gray lilac, and e-white gold uh, with the brass components. The knob is actually here. The knob I have is from the Satisfaction 75, but it's actually going to be a silver knob instead for the actual group buy. And you can also purchase extras. Uh, you can purchase an extra brass knob. Uh, there's going to be extras like plates and accents and PCBs and so on available. The pricing is 465 US dollars per kit. Uh, it's a high quantity capped group buy. We're, they're not expected to sold out uh, and it's going to be live on July 30th. And um, and then there are some small notes that I'll make as I as we build through as, as we build the keyboard. All right, lots of lots of bubble wrap today. The switches we're going to be using today are these dark amber T1s. And here is the keyboard we're going to be building. Hey Diego, I won a Kohaku over the weekend. Yo, congrats. Mr. Kupo, congrats on winning the Kohaku. What color do you pick? Alright, here we have our navy and silver color um, balance. So here we have a silver bottom. Oh, it's very shiny. <laughs> it's very reflective due to the lighting. So a few notes as the command says. Uh, we don't have uh, bump on cutouts, but uh, the actual uh, production unit will have bump on cutouts, of course. Um, I heard that the USB port is slightly more recessed than it's intended to be, but it's going to be fixed. Uh, it's already been fixed, actually. Uh, but it's just that the uh, current prototype units with anodizing uh, have the old parts. Uh, but yeah, that's about it. Um, but yeah, here is the F Rollless 1800 with knob, navy, and silver. I went with little old red, super common. I mean, that's good. The Kohaku in red is like, it, it looks really nice. This is the side for the balance. Very cool side here. It has a little flat on the bottom. Can you still get the board or was it a group buy? This you can, you will be able to get on Friday. Friday at 11 a.m. it will go live on Canon Keys, uh, canonkeys.com. Uh, you can actually use, I will drop an affiliate link in my, in my discord, uh, once it's live. So yeah. All right. So I already tested the PCB so we can skip that and we can go right into the stabs. Imagine testing before the stream starts. Couldn't be me, right? No, just kidding. I actually wanted to save some time because I knew I was going to do all these unboxings and stuff. The, the cluster looks a little, um, <laughs> phallic. <laughs> 11 a.m. Eastern time? Yes, 11 a.m. Eastern time. How much is it going to be? It's going to be, um, 465 US dollars, uh, as a starting price for the kit. Let's see left shift, left shift, 
enter. And then we'll need, um, I'm gonna do full backspace today. So full backspace. So that should cover the main cluster. And then we're do we're gonna do regular numpad keys. So plus and enter. Let's get some more. All right, and then we're gonna do numpad plus. Also, I saw I saw garlic was here. Garlic, hello hello. Fold everything in seven U bar unless we forgot to send you a seven U. No, here's a seven U, right here. Seven U seven U. I'm gonna do step caps lock because. Step caps lock is the way. And here it is. Okay, cool. Alrighty. Should be good. Clip some stab legs. If you don't know how stable like clipping stabs or uh, cherry stabs should be clipped, you just take um, some snippers here, some clippers, flush cutters, and you just clip these little legs here. So you just clip. And clip. So you end up with none of those little legs. That's how you clip them. These clippings, yeah, these are clipping stabs. Yes, these are indeed clipping stabilizers. How's your weekend, Diego? My weekend was very good, thank you for asking. I ran some errands on Saturday and went to... Oh yeah, I just ran some errands. Went to Ikea. Went to Ikea um, just to run more errands and stuff. Shop around. And then I had some fried chicken in the afternoon. Had some Korean fried chicken of all of all things. So good. Yeah. It was good though. I had a good weekend. Thank you for asking. And on Sunday I went to Sunday I I went to church. And I just and I just chilled, I guess. I had KBBQ in New York City this past weekend. Oh really? Oh. Nice, visited New York City. Sometimes. Good stuff. I love Ikea, it's so nice to walk through. I love Ikea too. I just walk through Ikea because, yeah. And, and then like, I mean, I was just accompanying someone, but like, yeah, I went to Ikea just to, just to accompany them and like, also just like, see if there was anything I needed to buy myself. Got a new bed and have been sleeping like a baby? Oh, hell yeah. New beds are the best investment. Like beds are, beds and chairs I think are probably the two things I would, 
I would absolutely recommend anybody to like spend on. Totally worth it. Totally, totally worth it. Alrighty, let's loot these guys now. Um, where's my 205? Is that Desma from GMK Hano? Yes, it is. It is indeed from GMK Hano. Hello, hello, Choosy Q. I've been sleeping in the same bed for like the past 10 years. That's a lot. Is it in 10? <laughs> I'm sure it's not. I'm sure it's just the lay. This is just the way the layout is. Like actually like um the um what's that? Uh the Blackbird also has a um similar layout, but it has no knob. Um So many Jimkey group buys this month and next month, man, so much to buy. Well, that is if you have a lot to buy, then yeah. There's there's so many group buys in general every single month now, though. Like, every vendor pretty much has at least one GMK group buy these days. At least one. Some some have two or more. So yeah, it's pretty crazy how much we're still ordering from GMK. It's like there's it shouldn't be a surprise that our lead times are not getting any shorter for for products, right? Makes sense. Apparently they have a new facility with machines and staff, but uh, there is also a plastic shortage if I recall correctly. So that's not gonna help. Well, if you order a lot of things, right? And you have a material shortage, not much you can do. That will be the bottleneck. Yeah. You think GMK has a responsibility to stop taking orders until they catch up on fulfillment? Seems like a disaster waiting to happen. I absolutely agree with you, Macha Matsu. I personally think GMK should be the first to stop taking orders. But it seems like they are not afraid to stop taking revenue. So yeah, um, it's pretty sad to see. I I do believe that it should be GMK responsible, GMK's responsibility to stop taking new orders. It's not the vendor's responsibility in this case, like the proxies. The proxies are just trying to like you know put orders in, but yeah, GMK should be stopping it really. I, I also think it's a disaster waiting to happen because there's so much money tied down. Yeah. I'll do sus things for the cherry novelties in classic retro Zuvian. <laughs> Stopping orders doesn't solve any orders. That is true, but it at least allows them to not constantly have an ever-growing number of things to make, right? I mean, either way, you need to you need to you need to take action on one of the two sides, right? You either make faster or make less uh, as a whole. Although, like, but you're catching up on your cube more quickly, right? Like, that's the whole point. Like, you're able to put in your efforts to produce more quickly and efficiently. And well enough, because it has to be up to like par. I did the math and it's scary. 150 sets in production queue, and if they can complete one group by per week, it's 150 weeks, and that is three years. 
Yep. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. Even completing one set a week is 150 weeks. Hmm. If they finish three sets a week, then it's just one year wait. Well, yeah, the math checks out. <laughs> the math does check out, but are they finishing one three sets a week though? With the shortage? When will they start finishing three sets a week is the question, right? I think that's the thing. When will they start catching up on, like catching up to speed in production? It just takes so long. Like, right now, like, the state of the world is not good. <laughs> not to mention the Delta variant is, like, ravaging places. I'm, I'm like, half certain that the, that the world is slowly moving towards doomsday. No, not slowly, rapidly. Climate change, COVID Delta variant, shortage of materials, droughts. We're kind of screwed. Just gotta take every day and appreciate it, you know? I know it sounds a little morbid. But... I'm a little convinced <laughs> that we're not headed in a great direction. <laughs> I feel like the hobby hit a good amount of influx of new people and the businesses couldn't even capitalize on the better income. Hmm. Yeah, that's good. This is part, partly true. Where's my phone still on? I just built my Tofu 60 and it feels weird. Could I see a lot of the plate? Is that normal or is my keycaps problem? I'm just using a random cherry profile set. Uh, it depends. It could be your keycaps. It depends on whether the keycaps maybe are a little shrunk. Uh, if it's like PBT, sometimes it can be a little shrunken looking, uh, which could expose a few more gaps. But I mean, um, uh, seeing part of the plate, especially like from right above, is kind of normal. But I'm not sure to what extent you're 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 talking about like the plate being exposed. If they finish 150 sets a week, we'll get our stuff in a month. <laughs> I'd rather a planet destroying asteroid than heat death TBH. Facts. Just give me the quick just give me the quick and easy one. The easy end to things. Let's just make it quick and quick and easy. Right? A slow a slow hot death is truly truly tragic. We'll probably run out of drinking water by 2050 or 2060. I love how Chups to the max, this is their first time chat from this particular viewer and the first thing that they have to say is something truly tragic. <laughs> but I mean, that said, I understand because I don't disagree with that at all. It's, it's very likely at the rate we're going. They dropping facts, yeah, I know. I know, they do. They do. Diego will single-handedly consume Earth's water supply, please. Parts of Europe and England have been flooding for weeks? Yeah, I know that Germany and um, other parts of, uh, of Europe have been having floods. Russia, too. All these keywords using the water supply to keep the six axis cool. We are the problem. Yeah, 
I mean, I'm sure any, any kind of consumerist production based hobby or even industry like this is definitely the problem for sure. Metals. I mean, for a while people were talking about the the almond uh, agricultural side of things, right? How like they're like water hogs essentially, right? When people were talking about the uh, droughts in California. But yeah, so are keyboards water hogs essentially. That's a lot of water going through that picture. <laughs> JQ it. Can we talk about keycaps instead of our deaths? <laughs> What's your favorite part of building a board? Uh, for me, the my favorite part is definitely just uh, seeing the end product kind of like finalized and then seeing like the like the colors combine in a way that's pleasing to my eyes and like typing on it and feeling like it's it's something that I enjoy typing on. Yeah, it's mostly that. I think that's the best part of building a board. I mean, just the doing things with my hands aspect is obviously fun, and it's something that I'm kind of used to now. I think that's like I, I think I will always have some sort of hobby or some sort of pastime for myself that involves just like using my hands and building stuff or taking things apart. You know, like looking at how things. I like I like looking at mechanisms. I like mechanisms in general. Like like I like robotics, for example, electronics, physics in general. Um. So like. That that's probably the, the kind of stuff I'm always interested in. Um, but that said, I think that the end product of such a, an assembly process is what makes you feel like, oh, these mechanisms are developed to be like rather com complex and like they can also be aesthetically very pleasing. Yeah. Organized water theft to keep <laughs> crops going. Yeah. That time 80 you posted today was pristine, so good. Thank you. JQ, I can't, can't wait to build a new board for my birthday. What are you building for your birthday though? What do you think you're gonna build? If you're not sure. Are you thinking of anything in particular? Planning for your your build for months, maybe even years, and finally seeing it finished done by yourself is very satisfying. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think, yeah, that's, that's the, the culmination of the of like yeah not just the planning but just like the build process itself is is the probably the best part for sure and you're like wow like i actually made it i, I actually did this for myself or for somebody else in my case like because i do it for other people it's like i like hearing from other people who you know for whom i built these things and they tell me like hey um got the board you built for me in the mail and I love it. That's a super satisfying feeling too. Is it satisfying? Is it satisfying or just relief that you don't have to wait anymore? I think it's for me it's satisfaction, but yeah, I personally don't care about the wait as much. I know that some people are quite impatient, but yeah, a Ramakara with lubed and filled boba U40s. Ooh, that sounds like a very good, uh, very good build plan for your birthday. Ramakara is very nice and. U4Ts are pretty nice too. People have been saying good things about them and I've tried them and can recommend them as well. Quite nice switches. Can I send a photo of my tofu on Discord so you can see if the gaps are normal? Sure. Yeah, feel free. Any love for, for clickies? There are people who love clickies. I actually do like clickies uh, in moderation. I actually like Kale Box clickies uh, and um, Buckling Spring and Beam Spring and uh, some Alps clickies as well. But yeah, I, in moderation. I just can't use them the whole day. It's, it just gets a little too irritating for me. For my ears specifically. It just gets a little too irritating too have the sound and I know that I it's, it can be disruptive for people around me so that's probably the, the, the part that would 
likely prevent me the most from using a clicky build. Yeah. Oops. It'll be my first high-end build, nice! Also, let's see, I don't have Discord open here, so... After last stream, kind of want to try Cherry MX White's milks. They're they're pretty interesting switches. You know who uh, advocates uh, advocates for um, Cherry MX White's quite a lot. Uh, you, you know Mr. Binge from Hungerwork Studio. Binge uses uh, MX White's on his main daily driver, which is an Ergodox. Um, he he really likes MX White's. Lube MX White's. Do you have a preferred clicky? I do like kale box cookies the most for MX, I think. For Alps, I like blues the most. And then I think outside of that, I like Buckling Spring, like Model M, Model F, Buckling Spring a lot. Even like with all the ping and everything. They're really nice. They're so satisfying. What's up? It's T Kush Baby. <laughs> what a name. Hello, how are you? What solder do I use? I use. You can do exclamation gear to find a link to my kit.co, but I basically use Kester Solder 6337. No clue. If you want the exact model or whatever, you can do exclamation gear and there's a keyboard built keyboard tools or building tools that I have, like a list, and there should be like a link to it. To the exact product that I buy on like on Amazon. Any love for Topre? I love Topre. I love Topre. I have lots of Topre. I actually Topre was my first love in keyboards, for those who don't know. I first started with Topre in the sense that like I had a full size MX Brown keyboard but when I first got into when I first got into like mechanical keyboards as a hobby like you know I went to meet up and like checked out different boards and whatnot and the thing that kind of stayed with me a lot was Topre and um, I tried it out like as soon as I got back home I like ordered an HHKB and then got a Nova Touch from the aftermarket and then eventually sold that but I enjoyed that for a bit too. It was my first foray in Mikako Keywords um, when I first joined. Is that a sheet stack? Yes, it is a Lure 2 and a um, Bifrost. Slightly older older models now. Will you get the Topper Death Mat that I shared? Maybe. The the cold top one? I might, I might, yeah. I have the link op uh, saved. I don't buy in on the first day usually, so. I wait, but yeah, uh, I'm debating it. I have it. I have it open. I think it's really cute. The cold top topper desk mat. It's so cute. I definitely don't need it, but <laughs> it's cute though. Sent a photo in general. Oh, okay. Uh, let's see it. Is that blue samurai? That looks fine, actually. Um. I wonder if the plate maybe has like a larger separation, but it actually looks fine to me. Uh, Ikezaki. Got a Magni... Magnis and Maris. Okay, nice. Nice, nice. Never knew how deep the rabbit hole went with keyboards. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, there's like even rabbit holes that I haven't gone deep into on purpose. Like certain vintage stuff, there's just no end to it. Like, cause there's so many obscure things slash things that have like literally just follow no standard. Um, like from it's like different companies that like you keep finding more and more things that you've never known about. Um, vintage keywords can be like that, I think, cause it's not like well documented. Can I have that Garbo? Hmm. 
I'd only trade it. But yeah, <laughs> probably not if I if I were left without a Garbo V2. To be honest, cannot tell if I fall in love with the art of the build the community or both. I mean, for me, it's both for sure. I fell in love with the community aspect first, actually, because I got close to a few people who were just extremely nice to me in the beginning. And then as I got close to them, I kind of got really into just the building part actually came in because I liked building for myself, but then I offered to build for other people as well. So that's where the build aspect came in for me. Yeah. Did I? I just got an extra one of these. Vintage is the abyss. That is correct. After getting into mechanical keyboard rabbit hole, I decided to go down the custom water PC. Oh, oh boy. Yeah, no. Uh, miss me with the custom water cooled PC stuff. It's just way too much. Way too complicated. Uh, what I don't like about the whole custom PC stuff is the fact that I have to think so much about like this whole cooling thing, like temperatures and like whether the parts fit and then like how do you even like get all these parts done? It's not like you can just like bend things by hand and like make these parts like yeah, it's just, just a lot. Like, it's really complicated and like if it doesn't work out then what? I mean I'm sure there's like ways to do it but it's just expensive too. That's the fun part? I guess so. I guess so. Miss me with it though for me too. Kinda, I kinda don't feel very strongly about custom water, water cool PC stuff. I think it's cool. I think it's like I would I could ask someone to help me out, but I think learning it from scratch seems so daunting. Dark Amber or Duroc? Yes, Dark Ambers are Duroc indeed. I was looking for some photos of the Tofu 60, but didn't see caps that big. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I wonder if your keycaps are a little like shrunken or something. I don't know. I don't think so. They look like GMK Blue Samurai though, so which have the same dimensions everywhere. I've made some really good friends in my local community as well. They, they became my IRL friends. Yeah, like a lot of my community friends have become IRL friends as well. So. Cannot afford to do all that to my PC when a couple fans and a big, big heatsink does a trick for me. Yeah. I guess that's true. Spent so much time trying to learn, still feel like I need to learn more. Yeah, I feel like the water cooling stuff for PCs is pretty big learning curve, no? Pretty big learning curve. Are you going to try to patina the copper Kohaku weight? Oh, I don't know. Uh, first of all, I currently don't even have the Kohaku with me anymore because I had to send them out for uh, some, uh, some, some work that Ilya need to do with it. Like, I think like a collab. Oh, it's so like photos and stuff and product shoots and stuff, uh, but yeah. Um, yeah, so I currently don't have the Kohaku with me, but maybe I'll consider it actually. I was thinking something like, yeah, maybe on the blue, blue, green scale. Give it that like pond-like look to the, to the koi fish area. I think that would be pretty nice. Make it actually look like it's floating in water. Like swimming in water, rather. <laughs> People have been talking about this nav cluster thing for a little while now. If you can't unsee it, then too bad. Too bad. What keycaps am I putting on this? Not sure yet. Although someone wanted me to put Handerbyte on a typing test, but I'll put something else later on too. With a PC, it's hard to justify owning 20 of them. True. True, true. Yo, Gam, what's up? Both deathmats for Hanok are so good. Tough to decide which one to buy. Do you tend to stain your dust mats or dirty them up really quickly? 
I think the lighter one is gonna be really easy to stain. I mean, they do wash up anyway, but yeah. Or if you live in a very dusty environment, the dark one actually would look bad because it would get like it's very noticeable when you have a lot of like dust around you, like dust and like fluff and that kind of stuff around you. No, I don't really stain them. Okay, then you get the get the light one. Done. I decided for you. Get your minds out of the gutter. <laughs> yeah, truly, the, these these people are. Uh, now I can't unsee it. Why? Don't blame me. Other people are pointing it out. I never even mentioned it. I just said people are looking at the nap cluster a certain way. It's not my fault. I never even mentioned it. Other people have been mentioning it like most of the stream. I'm like, okay, well, cool. Like, you you know, the mind, the human mind works in peculiar ways. Okay, maybe maybe y'all are just a little needy, right? Maybe y'all are seeing things that you think you might need more in your life. <laughs> Too much hentai. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Dude, the giant PB is not our fault. I'm telling you, I, I get it, it's impressive and all, but maybe. May just saying, just saying. Maybe it's reflective of your subconscious. Have you used BDZ for stabs yet? Yes, I have. I have used BDZ for stabs many times before. Uh, the reason I don't use BDZ, if you want to know a reason, is because I... First of all, I own a lot of 205, but the more important reason is because I find BDZ to be a little messy for me. Uh, I prefer... I mean, yeah, I, I prefer 205. It's a little less messy for me. It's a little easier for me to work with, just in general, I think. I do appreciate the BDZ sticker and kind of like... Uh, if you do it right, it's like a one time and forget sort of application, but it, in the case that you do need to reapply anything with BDZ, it's a little harder to do so. It get like gets in places and like you you definitely don't want any loop to mix with other things. Like you don't want like 205 to mix with BDZ if you're applying like let's say if you're applying BDZ on the wire but 205 on the housing, you definitely don't want that to mix at all. Um, so that kind of stuff complicates things a little bit. Um, if you're only using BDZ, then fine, but it's still pretty messy. And if it gets into the housing area, especially like on the side walls inside of the um, of the uh, like the housing area, it's also kind of bad because it can get like a little like gunky slash like sticky, and like it's it's not very pleasant to type like to use a step that's like that. So. So overall, I prefer to go with 205 that's a little easier to manipulate. BDZ is overrated. I'm, uh, I don't see any improvement over time compared to 205G0. Yeah, I, I would say that um, over time, I think it's any loop. I think most loops, I think over time is that ba basically the same thing. Um, mainly in that lube is supposed to operate dynamically like as in like in movement rather than staying in place so like yeah the more you use your keyboard the more likely it is that the, lubri the, 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 the lubricant will eventually displace because it's gonna spread um, on the surfaces that it's being you know it's being applied to and then yeah eventually it will move to places and like it will just like not be in that like little gap where you like do need to have the loop so that you stop the rattle from happening. What do you use to straighten stab wires? I never straighten stab wires. Uh, reason for that is if the stab wire is bent, I just throw it away. I replace it with a new stab. Yeah. I I have a bunch of stabs for that reason. I literally just bought like I I've bought many stabs just to have extras around and if the stab wire is bad I just toss it out 
but there's no redeeming for a stab wire. It's more annoying to straighten a stab wire because the chances are by trying to straighten it, you'll most likely not get it right and make it problematic. Or like just as worse or even worse. I mean, just as bad or even worse, yeah. So yeah, I don't straighten stab wires at all. Just toss it out. Get a new stab. Oh, one drunk man, thank you so much for gifting Gam a sub. I miss Peepo G? Wait, did I rem- Oh wait, I forgot I removed Peepo G. I guess I did remove Peepo G. Now you can use Meowgo Notes because you have been gifted a sub. I think. Yes. Agile one, what's up, buddy? <laughs> cringe? Are you saying my emotes are cringe? Rude? Simon TH, thank you so much for the three months. Also, if you want a sticker, you can fill out exclamation sticker. There's a form that you can fill out for claiming a free sticker if you would like. Just a reminder for anyone who has subbed for three months or multiples of three, for example, you can claim stickers several times every three, but you have to claim them yourself. Otherwise, I'm not sending anything. Nada just chilling. How goes it today? It's going. It's all right. Uh, I'm getting busy actually, just like work-wise. Bet this man's gonna intentionally send me the note sticker. I'm actually not even sure if I have a note sticker yet. So, pretty sure I don't actually. But if I did, I would send you that. Yes. Maybe remove Thinky S and replace with Peepo G? Yeah, but Thinky S is so good. I don't know. I like it more than Peepo G. Lightning sticker? Oh, I haven't made those. Actually, I haven't made Pepe Lightning. Pepe Lightning would would look kind of interesting on a sticker because the art is actually made on MS Paint. I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure the Pepe Lightning was made on MS Paint. So uh, I don't know how it will. I don't know how it will uh, translate to a sticker. Make a poll? Okay, I'll, I'll make an executive choice at some point. If Peepo G is really being requested that hard, I'll just make I, I'll just make a change. I'll, I'll take a look at the emails again. I just haven't taken a look in a while. And I think I got a hydrate request. I'll do that. Put it in Photoshop and delete the background? Oh, it's already deleted. Like, the background's already, already gone, I think. Pretty sure. It's already transparent.
Did someone already redeem a set? Uh, someone redeemed Handerbite as a typing test. But I don't think some I don't think we have redeemed the set actual set because after I do Handerbite, I'm gonna take Handerbite off. I'm not gonna leave Handerbite on this. Oh wait, oh, I think I need one more stab for full right shift. Uh, yeah, full right shift. So there's no split right shift on this, so I think I need one more stab on this. Any Bajor white sets also work? Yeah, oh, oh, white sets, huh? I do have a few white sets, yeah. I actually did get a modern Ja, the uh, set by AIO3. Could use that. Rudy would probably look real nice on here. Imagine having Rudy though. I don't have Rudy yet. I'm trying to get a set of Rudy. <laughs> might, might have one later, but uh, yeah, I'm looking around. <laughs> Are those cherry clippins? Yeah, this it is cherry cherry clippins. I don't have blue alert, uh, so no blue alert. Cause I'm looking for blue alert too. <laughs> That's another set I want, but I don't have. So yeah, unfortunate. I did the thing. Let's be boring and do striker. Okay. Yeah, I, I certainly haven't seen striker in a little while, actually. Not seen it since. I actually don't remember when I last did Striker. Was it when that? Oh yeah, it was when I did the uh, the Stellar 65. Was the last time I used Striker, I think. And that was a little while back, actually. So. I had to skip Striker. Feels bad. But you, you got Future Funk, so it, it kind of punches a bit of that, right? Oko, please? Oh. Wasn't Blue Alert... Oh, no, wait, no, yeah. Blue Alert was run by Originative, I guess. Didn't Hammer also run Blue Alert, actually? No, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wasn't it, wasn't it Hammer that ran Blue Alert? Pretty sure no. It was Olivetti that was run through Originator. Blue Alert, I think, was a Hammer set. I think, like a GMK set run by Hammer through a proxy. I think. Who are some of the more popular GMK set artists? Only big one I know is Zambamon. Uh, Bib, Oblotsky, Tom Berry. Um, I guess. P Wade is pretty popular nowadays. Um, there's a lot. How you feel? It's like Rensuya sets are popular, but they have their they had some issues too though because of color matching. We've yet to see Dracula, but Dracula and Symbiote by Pico Allo seem to be pretty nice looking because he does some godly renders, but um, yeah, I mean, uh, Jang Lad does good sets, I guess. Uh, he did he did like Moto Light, Moto 9009, but although that's just beige, so that's not like a new thing, new thing. But I mean, I don't know. I would say Zambamon runs... Yeah, Zamon, Bip, Oblotsky probably run a lot of sets. Tomberry also runs quite a few, has run quite a few. Carbon, Yuri, Toxic, 
uh, Denim, lots of good ones too. Eclipse, that's an underrated one for sure. Lots of underrated, oh Boneyard, Carbon Boneyard was really good. Yeah, I would say like a lot of Zambumon sets, a lot of Tomberry sets, a lot of Oblotsky sets, I tend to buy like pretty much automatically just because they tend to be up my alley as far as taste. <laughs> Nathan Kim, Mr. Sleeves. Yeah. Krelbit makes some sleeper sets, not gonna lie. He vendors some, yeah. He vendors some good sets too, yeah. Got in on Striker and Stargaze, probably selling Striker. Will this board have multiple knob options? Ooh. Um. Whoa, you mean like you can put in multiple knobs? I'm not sure. I don't think that you can. Just one. But you can change the actual knob, but the encoder is gonna be the same. Mito? Uh, Mito has some popular colorways, yeah. Although I can't say I'm a fan of all of them. I used to like them until I realized that. Yeah. Unfortunately, I do associate sometimes the person who runs things versus what they make. As much as I don't want to do that, but I. I don't want to be mean, but Mito has said some really dumb things that make me feel very disapproving. Of it. Uh, so yeah, I'm less keen on supporting someone who says things that are really bad. Sometimes you can't. Sometimes you can't divorce the person from the thing that they make. So yeah. Earth tones. Also, has has the chat been showing on the screen? Did the stream die? Oh, stream died. Oh, I see. <sighs> Did Nachos really say we were at almost two hours without getting Spectrum, and then we got Spectrumed? I see. I apologize for the Spectrum. But he didn't even notice. I didn't, because I was looping the last tab. Didn't even notice at all. As usual. How's the build been so far? 8 Pebble has been good. There's a big delay now. Oh, if there's a big delay, just press pause and then press play. It should refresh. Oh, not even a stream delay, just brain delay. Found out that I don't need to go into the office tomorrow since someone tested positive for COVID. It will definitely be interesting to see how our return to work goes. Oh yeah. I think it's kind of scary to be honest with you. Been seeing a lot of positive cases these days and it's not, not fun at all. Not good. We did the outfit while you were gone. Can we have a gold star? Yes. Here's a gold star. So I was actually wondering why chat was not showing up on the screen and now I know it's because stream had died. And it's still not showing up which is ex extremely annoying to me. I hate it when chat the chat box disappears and it's not showing up. Hello? Not yet? Nope. Test. Nope, not yet. 
you think the entire situation would have made benefits of remote work obvious? Well, it has made the benefits of remote work quite obvious in my opinion. Um, but yeah, <laughs> we're still failing to see beyond that uh, because we still can't. We apparently still can't um, control COVID as it is. Let's solder the encoder first, though, because we should test it. So. All right, let's solder the encoder first. Pog, oh, 16 months, hello. Marcia, how are you? How did your stream go? Did you did you dis did you destroy your balance prototype like I'm about to? Just kidding. Found your pog. It went well. That's good. I I was. Could I ask you a favor? Yes. What favor? Also, my chat disappeared. I hate Twitch sometimes. Could you look to see if there's a gap between the knob and the case? Gap between the knob and the case once you build. Okay, sure. Sure, sure, sure. <laughs> I have an explanation potentially. Oh, Upaz is here. Maybe you, you guys can chat about it. W where's the gap though between the case and the... Mm. I guess we'll see once we build it up. Actually, I can just test it right now. Wait a sec. Let me just test the knob itself first. It's so a vertical gap between the bottom of the knob and the case. Oh, okay. I see. So it sits high? It's sitting a little high. I take it. Where's my cable? Okay, that works. Okay, cool. It's working. Knob is working. Chad died again? Oh god damn it. <sighs> Stream please. Don't do this to me today. Lightning, do you know that Hanok is holding a charity? I did not know actually. That's cool. What kind of charity is it? I guess I'll just read it up myself when the time comes. Thirty percent of the profits will be donated to Haiti as a virus. Oh, that's nice. Who needs chat? Oh, the chat box is back though. As we were speaking. Wait, did I miss a screw somewhere? Ok, 
Can we appreciate how perfect this proto is for Diego stream? Yeah, it's so nice. The color is perfect too. Wait, that means a screw somewhere. Are these supposed to come off? Is this piece supposed to come off too? I guess it is. I'm gonna take it off. I guess there's a screw right beneath it then. That's my guess. It has to be. It's supposed to be symmetric. All right, pretty sure there's a screw down here. It has to be. Haha, I knew it. Okay. Make the co even compression across the gaskets? Yeah. Makes sense. They're donating to an organization against Asian hate. That's awesome. <laughs> this is the multicolor Canon Keys logo knob. Ooh, multicolor PVD looks so sick. Yo, that would actually look really good against this blue case. Whoa. Ooh, that actually looks great. Um, gaskets on every, so there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Just put them on there. <gasps> Yo, Chewy, Osiris, hello. Mechs on deck, people. Hello, 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 hello. How are y'all doing? Hope you had a good stream. What do you do today? I know y'all are building your balance later this week. Pog raid. That's very poggers indeed. How are y'all doing? Good to see y'all here. Mint Larka interview today. Ooh, oh, so it's Mint here too? Maybe she left, because after an interview, I would be pretty tired. Also, hi, Courtney. <laughs> you have a Lenny emote? Oh my god, that's so perfect. <laughs> that is so good. <laughs> JB misses you all. JB 10 out of 10 cute. <laughs> he wants to bite your fingies. Oh my god, these these emotes are so cute. Oh, These are adorable. Oh my god, the doji emote is so derpy. 12-year-old humor SMH. I think I think like half of chat has 12-year-old humor, I'm pretty sure. Because at least half of chat mentioned it at the beginning of stream. Oh, it looks like a penis. <laughs> yeah, it's been it's been mentioned for about the past hour because technically I didn't show the board until like after an hour. <laughs> Whew. You 
does look like a donger though. Nothing wrong with that. Is this still in group by? It will be on group by starting this 30th. Exclamation balance for all the info about the group by, including the GeekHack page where all the info is listed. And it will be on Kaneki's website on the 30th, starting at 11 a.m. Eastern Time. Yeah. Is this a good keyboard if I like to sneeze? Um, yes. <laughs> Is this board gonna be a future group I run? Yes, it will be a group I run for two weeks. I believe it's gonna be open for two weeks starting on the starting on Friday at 11 a.m. on Kanaki's website. Dark Ambers, yes, Dark Ambers indeed. Um, I'm going to be building with the Dark Ambers. They're they're actually um, stock, but I actually opened one up earlier, and um, the factory lube is pretty significant. So it's actually basically like they're lubed. Um, like, let me show you. It kind of reminds me of the Gateron Cap V2 switches that were stock, but sounded pretty good because the factory lube was like pretty decently placed on there. Also, like, not putting this straight, stressing me the hell out. Oh my god. Applying gasket straight, it's so stressful. Good night, one drunk man. Is this a good option for someone who, who's looking for a full-size keyboard? Yes. I would say that if you don't think you'll miss your Efro, you can always get the Efro through a function key. So you can just use FN plus one, two, three, or whatever to get your Efro. But otherwise, it has everything else though. The navigation cluster, like you can get like home and end through the function layer as well but yeah uh, I personally think it's a pretty good alternative to a full size it's pretty close to it you could get a full 1800 too but uh, I, I like I like this layout though it's a good it's a very good alternative no split right shift hmm that is true yeah no split right shift is a bit um, I also thought that yeah split right shift I'm sure that some people would have preferred it but these are the layout choices that were made by design, so there's no helping that, I think. Although, if the PCB and plate can get revised, I'm sure it's not a problem. But that does assume that it would have to be revised. Alright. All right, so I was just gonna, I was gonna do this just to uh, check the placement of things.
Chat died again. Damn it. Oh, never mind. Oh, never mind. Okay. I thought it did for a second. Okay, I was just gonna check the knob fitment here. Huh? Forceful right shift, give 2.75 you right shift some love. <laughs> well, that does that seems fine. Okay. That looks okay. Where's a knob? Cool. All right. Cool. 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 But yeah. All right. Cool. Marcy just got a faulty one? Okay. Cool. Good to know. Alright. Okay, let's do the rest. Those T ones look from another realm. Yeah, it looks like it came from the uh, uh, what is that? The Daedric domain from Oblivion on the Elder Scrolls it has that like dark red and black theme. <laughs> Red. No, not even though. Bread is a little more vivid red. These are like amber. So. Does the gap between the keycaps and the case at the bottom row bug you if it allows you to see the switches and stabs underneath? Does the gap between the keycaps and the case? Uh, no, not really. If you're asking if it bothers me, it doesn't really, no. Morning poop switches after eating hot Cheetos. Very specific. I hope that you don't really get this IRL. It's not a very, that doesn't sound like a very healthy poop. look sick they do look very nice if 
you're into tactiles, like if you like T1s, these these switches are like the much better color version of them. They're so nice looking. Full nylon housing always poggers. Yeah, these are full nylon too. Yeah, Topra is great. That's for sure. Seven U, yeah, seven U. Seven U. Hey, John. Hello. What's up? Anyway, so let me actually show you what one of these switches looks like. Uh, it's it's factory lubed, but it's actually quite heavily lubed, or at least pretty well oiled is what I should say. Sure. 
well, it just looks very smooth, and it looks like there's some oil on there. But, yeah. There's some oil right there at the legs area, and then the, the rest of it like, looks like almost like polished, like super, super smooth. And then, here on the sides. The back almost only, only like a little bit, but it's kind of spread out. Yeah, it looks like kind of shimmery. Very smooth though. And it looks like the springs have a very teeny bit of loop, but almost none. Yeah. Is that a queen? No, it's this is a Duroc uh, Dark Amber T1 switch. Dark Amber T1. That's purely the oil giving it that. So I'm gonna check if there's. I opened a different one and it looked like there was a bit of oil on there. So let me open a different one. No, I think it's just like really smooth, a uh, really smooth stem rather. I don't think it's the oil actually. I think the stem is just like really smooth. So let me see. If I scrape it with like something, does it, is it oil? Maybe it is part of the oil, I'm not sure. Very, maybe a very thin, maybe a very thin layer. Can't tell. Oh, I don't know why Automa is holding you back. Hmm. Yeah, I think it's a very thin layer of oil. There's definitely oil here, see? Definitely some oil here. But yeah. A very thin layer of oil is what I'm thinking. Well. Looks good because it seems pretty smooth to me. At least at first. First attempt. The oil looks like it's from the housing rails. Possibly, yeah. I'm trying to see if there is anything in the housing rails that I can see, but it's very hard to see at this angle. Yeah, it's so hard to see it. You don't have to look at my ugly fingers. Did these get discontinued? The dark ambers? Are they? I thought I thought we still had I thought there was still stock, no? I've never heard of Dark Amber, really? Dark Amber T1s. They're on Kanakis' store, pretty sure. Or oh, I thought they were. We still got them, yeah. That's what I thought. Maybe I'm just confusing them with another switch? Sounds like you might be. Do you have a schedule? I don't. I am not full time, so I kind of stream based on my availability, which is kind of sporadic. But I would say I've still been streaming fairly consistently a few times a week, so you can expect me to stream around evening times like today, a um, couple, couple times or three times a week.
I was a streamer, I would do that too. Yeah, it's kind of it's kind of difficult for me to commit to a certain time just because my work is actually a little variable as far as demands go and like yeah, like things I have to do. And so sometimes I work late hours. Um, like I work at night sometimes, so yeah. It just changes based on that. Wait, so you have a different job and you do this too? Yeah, uh, like I'm not, like I'm not a full-time streamer if that's what you're asking me. I built for fun, um, and yeah, I stream for fun. So it's a hobby for me. Um, yeah. So, uh, so it's it mostly comes out on my free time. I'm a I'm a graduate student. If that's what you're wondering, so I do research. Yeah, you don't need to be full time to stream. Indeed. something nice like you like when I have free time and not doing school stuff and make keyboards too it's doable it definitely requires a little bit of like you know you need to set aside time to do it yeah but it's doable it's totally doable This is FR4 plate, right? Yes, that is correct. This is indeed an FR4 plate. work as I, as I said I work I'm a I'm a I'm a researcher so I do research I work as a research assistant I work in biomedical engineering so I work with clinical data imaging systems is also a bioengineer. That's cool. Do you go to school? Where do you go to school if you don't mind me asking? 
Um, I don't think I'm comfortable disclosing my school affiliations, but um, yeah. I did go to like an engineer. I, I went to a liberal arts school first, and then I actually did engineering later. And then I worked for a bit before I came back to school, actually. So, yeah. Have some experience doing a bunch of different things, <laughs> so to speak. That looks good, I think. I think the spacing is right, but I'm gonna double check it. This Sangin layout, uh, it is 7U, and then on the right and left are 1.25, 1, and 1.25. So it's kind of like it's 7U bottom row layout, basically. Have you built a split yet? Like a split keyboard? Yeah, I have before. It's been a while, but I have. What made you switch from liberal arts to engineering? Uh, I was always interested in engineering before. Um, but I mean, when I was in liberal arts, I did, I did, I studied physics. So I double majored in physics and electrical engineering actually. And then my current applications are in biomed, but, but I've worked in like physics and electrical engineering related stuff like for a while. Yeah. All right, let's start soldering. <clears throat> Liberal Arts College basically just means a college without associated other university schools. That is indeed correct. And for example, like I, having gone to a liberal arts school, for example, I did two years, like the first two years, like freshman year and sophomore year, you're under, you're not declared as a major. And then you declare at the end of your sophomore year, uh, your, like whatever major of choice it is. And in my case, I majored in physics. All that education got us through chat talking about PVs and keyboards. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but fret not. Even while in school, I talked a lot about those things too. Went to a liberal arts college too, but majored in um, poli sci. Oh yeah, cool, very nice, very nice. All right, soldering should be pretty quick here. Not lubing stabs? I'm disappointed. Yeah, I already, I already lube stabs. Imagine raw stabs. Yeah, that would be that would be tragic. I think, I think doing stock stabs would really be tragic. Um, yeah, no, never. I think stock switches okay, acceptable, especially because there's a, a bit of factory lube on them anyway. But stock stabs? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Not happening. If that happens because it's a challenge or someone's paying me to do that, which is like, well, that's your choice. Not that I 
Not that I'm endorsing it. He didn't take two hours to loop staffs? You guys don't know the disappointment. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. I took like an hour, uh, oh, like I took like 50 minutes unboxing stuff and showing people the cool poster and everything. And then we started building and it's been an hour and a half and I'm basically gonna be done within the next 20 minutes. So it's not that bad, okay? It's not that bad. How much for build with unloop stabs? Uh, whatever I charge minus like twenty five bucks, give or take. <laughs> you should charge more for on loop stats because it's a keyword crime. <laughs> um, but they're saving me time, and time is money. I want, I'm, I'm, I'm fair, fair. I'm just, I'm, I will just wash my hands about it though. I'll be like, they asked me to do this. Do not associate this crime with me. I therefore wash my hands, and I'm unaffiliated with such highness, and, um. You know, crime committing requests. <laughs> I come to watch a stream after two months and I don't get a two hour loop stream. <laughs> Diego, it has to be one of your keyboards I just want to watch. I mean, if you really want to watch me do an unloop stab build, I'll, I'll do it one day. Maybe I should do a redemption. Yo, maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll be like, you can spend like 50,000 channel points to have me do a, no, like 100,000 channel points for me to do an unloop stab build. Something like that, I don't know. You gotta pay up, at least it's free. I have a hundred K? That would be surprised. I wouldn't accept a commission from someone who asked for unloop stabs. Not gonna lie. I would. <laughs> I would just take it. <laughs> because if they want unloop stabs, and I know that it's a keyword crime, I would just be like I would just be like well, it's your money, and it saves me like an hour, hour and a half of time, and I'll be so disgusted by it that I don't have to make content. So I'll just be like, look, I'll build it for you and send it back. Easy clap. Let's go. <laughs> Alright, alright friends, let's talk about group buys are currently gonna open or, or currently open on different places. First of all, nice eggplant 1800. <laughs> hey Vinkies, what's up buddy? Let's first say thank you to Mr. Upas for sending out this balance prototype. And as for the balance, this prototype is that for a keyboard called the balance and it's going to be open for group buy starting this Friday July 30th on Canon keys at 11 a.m. on the main website the kit will cost 465 US dollars you can do exclamation balance to 
get information about the group buy and the board itself. Um, there is a link to the geek after it as well on the command so you can get more info on that. But yeah, it's going to be this starting this Friday for two weeks. Um, it basically is going to be high cap, like high number limit group buy. Um, uh, pretty much a lot of units but available so if you are interested in this board I'm pretty sure that you will have a chance to get one but yeah exclamation sponsors with s if you want to get the list of thank you for building oh no problem dude it's a pleasure someone please commission deal to build a hyper to build buy a hyper 7 there's 30 stabs on that board yeah there's a lot of stabs on that one. And do you unloot for all those? Oh my god. That's, that would be so tragic. Imagine having to build a Hyper 7 and have to desolder it because you decided to fuck up your stabs. Oh. Oh my god. That would be horrible. Didn't they say cap, the cap was 500 units? Well, there you go. The, the cap is 500 units. That's still plenty of boards though, in my opinion. <laughs> Bro, I throw it away? <laughs> Yeah, I might debate that too. <laughs> um, anyway, go ahead and check out Canon Keys. I believe right now they still have a few obliterated 75s in aluminum in stock. Uh, also for group buy right now, they have uh, Chimera uh, PCBs, Chimera 65 PCBs if you have a Chimera and you needed an extra. Uh, there's also the Hood Row G. Uh, PCB. Uh, so the Hood Row G PCBs are Matrix uh, Lab 1.2 original um, uh, replacement PCBs that are going to be QMK and VIA compatible and all that good stuff. Um, and yeah, it's going to be uh, compatible with the daughter board, with the RGB and all that. So um, yeah, if you if you need a replacement PCB for your 1.2 OG, uh, the Hood Row G PCB is available on Canakees for group by right now. And then for key sets, I believe we have GMK Foundation running until the 1st, so that's going to be this Sunday, I believe. Um, GMK Moomin running until the middle of next month. And GMK Jags uh, is coming up, or is it live now? I think it's live now, right? Yeah. Uh, keeping track of all these group buys is actually harder than I thought. But yeah, GMK Jags is live, I'm pretty sure. It is live now indeed, thank you. Um, I think coming soon is also GMK Ah, right? The 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 Gura set, the 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 VTuber set. Isn't that coming soon too? Yeah. GMK Hohai also starts on August 1st. That's correct. Thank you so much for the extra info. GMK Hohai, a uh, bunch of vibrant colors on GMK Hohai, um, also starts on August 1st. Yeah. Is that the GMK Hanok Deathman? How'd you get it? Uh, JK Keeps, who the designer of GMK Hanok, sent a sample to me. Uh, to first of all to help promote Hanok of course and for me to check out um yeah so uh, it's part of the promotion for GMK Hanok uh, which yeah is currently um, available as well if you, if you need the link for GMK Hanok it's right here that's the link for GMK Hano. It's live on Dane Keeps for US and then other other proxies elsewhere. Korean Pride, I'm for sure picking one up. Yeah, it's great. It's a, it's a, it's a cool set for sure. Alright, let's move on. We have Kinetic Labs. Oh, yeah, Kinetic Labs is going to be sending me some of the poly caps, uh, octopus caps, and the whale caps, I think. Uh, so uh, I'll be reviewing those later on. Uh, mostly, I kind of know what to expect because they actually look quite similar to other keycaps I've tried. Uh, but they look pretty good. Um, blues and purples for the colorway. Uh, but yeah, we should be checking those out soon. Um, of course, on Kinetic Labs, we have a variety of switches. Also, if you haven't 
checked out like the dark amber team ones that we're building with today. They are available on Kanakis as well. As well as Ceruleans and a lot of different switches. Coffee chip. Lavenders, I'm not sure if they're still in stock. Uh, Neapolitans and so on and so forth. But yeah, anyway, Kinetic Labs also has a lot of switches. They're restocking their hippos soon. Uh, they have penguins, salmons, yak polar pandas, gat yellows. Uh, pretty much a lot of different switches. And then they also have the Carbon GS Lube, which if you haven't tried, they come in two different variants, one and two essentially. One that's thinner and one that's thicker. GS2 is similar to 205. GS1 is more like an like a like a thinner oil, um, but uh, yeah, uh, it's like a thinner grease rather. But uh, those are available on Kinetic Lab Store. A lot of different switches. You mean a lot of different colors? Well, they're still switches, so you know. Yeah, but they're also different colors. Anyway, Kinetic Labs also has a lot of different desk mats available. They also have other accessories like switch containers and pullers and springs and all kinds of cool stuff for your keyboard modding and switch modding purposes. So go and check out kineticlabs.store slash lightning. Alright. Next up, Mint Autumn, no updates, sorry. Novelkeys.xyz, Thunder for the promo code if you need 5% off any in stock item. On Novelkeys, we have the NK6, NK65 aluminum version, there's also the Oblivion version. Uh, we also have the Oblivion V3.1 set running, uh, only just about another week. Uh, we are in the last few days of Oblivion uh, version 3.1. There's a Rama Works M6C collaboration as well as dust pads available for it. Um, of course, on novel keys you can find other switches, lube, you know, dust pads, all kinds of cool accessories for your desk. Um, yeah. What switcher are you planning on using? Um, on what? On this? Right now we're using the Dark Amber T1s uh, made by Durock and sold at Kanakis. Alright, I think that's it for Novel Keys. It's just mostly Oblivion right now. And if you haven't checked out the Keyboard Meetup, the keyboardmeetup.com for information about a uh, Novel Keys hosted meetup in October. Um, it's going to be held in West Virginia, so if you are planning to travel, uh, you should be aware of that. They have tickets available for 25 US dollars. It's limited. Um, and yeah, if you're looking to attend a meetup at some point in the future and travel for it, uh, that's that's one that's currently being promoted. Meeting up. Yeah, it can be a little mockers right now. I think with Delta flying around, it's a little it's a little risky. But who knows? We'll see. Hopefully, things will be okay. All right. Next up is Omnitype.com slash Lightning, where we currently have GMK Botanical Round 2 until the middle of this uh, coming month. And Dust Pads in stock available as well. And I think that's about it. And other accessories like 8008 inks and containers and so on and so forth. Alright. Next up we have Prime Keyboards, uh, which I should tell you that Prime Keyboards is temporarily closed right now. Just uh, I think they're taking some time off until August 13th. Uh, but they usually stock alpacas and cobalt palms and all kinds of other accessories. But yeah, they're currently um, closed until the middle of August. Uh, just FYI, if you're needing like Durox dabs and so on, uh, they won't be available for a little bit. Um, do they usually charge to go to meetups? Yeah, it depends. Uh, so in the case of the Novel Keys meetup, I'm pretty sure they're charging because there's also open bar. And there's gonna be like lo a lot of logistical things going on. Uh, they're like booking like a whole hotel sort of venue for it, so I think that's where the costs are going. Yeah. Um, they also have like panelists and the and whatnot, so and like lots of giveaways and all that kind of cool stuff. But yeah, it depends on the meetup. The size of the meetup normally determines how like whether they charge or not. 
Next up is GMK Pingsu round two on projectkeyboard.com. Check out, Jim, uh, check out GMK Pingsu on projectkeyboard.com running until the first week of August. August 8th um, is when GMK Pingsu round two ends on projectkeyboard.com. So check it out there. Next up, we have Salvin. Salvin currently sells amethyst switches, uh, Salvin hoodies, Duroc V2 stabilizers. Um, and soon we'll be featuring more products. Uh, there's also the Aura Light switches. These are the Ash Keys uh, collaboration switches from Texi. Uh, but those are available on Salvin.com. Do they have an open bar though? Uh, yeah, that's a yeah. The open bar thing is super tempting. Uh, it's great. Um, and then finally we have Space Cables or SpaceHoldings.net, where we currently have GMK Pacific running until Monday of this coming week. So uh, there's of course a desk pad associated with it. There's a few in-stock desk pads like the Minify Light Desk Pad by Alex Otos, the Batsy Collab, the Kaiju Desk Pad in collaboration with Yura PSD and Alex Otos. There's the SP20 Desk Pads and the Bromats by um, Glarsis. But yeah, those are some of the other um, other products available. There's also um, XHG BDZ available on space cables if you're looking for a lubricant for your, uh, for your wires, for your stabilizer wires. All right, let's test this out now. So let's see, let's show Via here on the screen. And then go to design. Okay, it's already loaded. Uh, key tester. No, wait, let's see if it shows up. Balance, here it is. Test matrix. Oh, did I not solder this one? Oh, I missed one pin. I think this one is not showing up. These two are not showing up on the test matrix screen if you're around UPAS. But I'm not sure why. Maybe it's the matrix is not. Uh, let me see. I'm not sure why those ones are not showing up. But they do. But they do. Um, they do show up on the switch hitter. So they are working. I don't know why they just don't show up on the test matrix part. Yeah. Just FYI, the alt and the space. But yeah, they they are working keys though. I think I just need to solder that one switch that I forgot to solder one pin for right here. We're good to go. Yeah, it's probably the JSON file. Yeah, no worries. It's all good. The programming itself is okay though.
It's not a badge, it's a... It's a knob. Music is a little bit louder, FYI. Oh, my bad. I lowered it. I lost one of these small screws. I don't know where it went. I thought it was a badge? No, it's it's a knob. I'm very clumsy today. <laughs> I'm very clumsy today. arrow keys and they're <laughs> nice that's man the artwork looks sick yeah the that's is from GMK Hano GMK Hano that's man Daughterboard keyboard here. Alright, there. Screw went the small one. Rolled around. 
around here, but I can't find it. see it in a bit. Herbologist, hello. Just got back from a run. Anything come up with the board or pretty uneventful? Decently uneventful. I would say. gonna be a group by or in stock it's going to be a group by um, starting on the 30th so this Friday at 11 and then gonna be up for two weeks what's the ETA that's a good question the ETA is going to be And does it say here? Doo -doo -doo. I'm actually not sure. Wait. Actually, I don't know. It doesn't say on the group on the group by page. Q3 2022. Sorry. Right. Q3 2022. ETA is buy and forget. Very true. Very true. One year ish, yeah. They had already. They had to push Sassane five round to to Q four. Looks like everything is very still very pushed and soft. I see. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. I can't find this last small screw because it's so tiny it flew. This last countersunk screw here. Foolish me. Foolish me. Okay, let's put this moving cover now. A gap? Um, not quite. No, I don't think so. Does that look? Is it maybe? It's like barely, no, not really. I guess. Sure. Did I not put it all the way in? Let me see. Maybe see if I can push it all the way in. This is the prototype knob? Oh, okay. So it's been addressed for production units. But even then, it's barely, it's not really there. Does that look like a gap to you? It doesn't look like a gap to me. Looks fine. All right. If I find this tiny screw, yay. If I don't, too bad. But other than that, we're done with the build. All 
All right, so what keys are we putting on this people? Oh, someone said striker, right? So we can get striker and we can do a typing test with hand or bite if people want later on. Doesn't matter which order. No, I think someone redeemed for striker earlier. So let me go get that. Oh, wait a second. Wait a second, but... Striker does not come with a numpad. <laughs> Too bad. Striker does not have a numpad. Because I don't... I did not get the numpad kit for Striker. <laughs> so... <laughs> Striker's out. Striker's out. We can't do Striker. There's no Striker because I don't have numpad for Striker. I only have the regular base kit. Striker round 2 has a numpad. But... yeah. I did not get numpad on Striker round 1. F. F indeed. Too bad, too bad. And now, Simon's rants about biscuits not including numpad are understood. I personally think it's dumb. <laughs> like, I honestly think base kits should include numpad, like, kind of no matter what, you know? But, I mean, numpad-less kits are a good way to... I don't know, it's under the illusion that you save money, but I personally don't think you really save that much. So what kits? What kit are we doing? Wait, did R1 actually not have a numpad? Well, it had a numpad kit. I did not get the numpad kit though. I just got the base kit, which was a TKL only kit. Yeah. I think Hamon and Striker were the two times that Zambamon did uh, TKL, TKL. Like I mean, not TKL, but like numpad less base kits, core kits. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Hander bite will be awful. <laughs> alright, well, alright, I guess I guess I'll go get hander bite while we while someone's deciding on what we do. So I think hander bite's right here. Whew. Oh what other sets do you have? Okay, oh yeah, sure. I have I have a lot of key sets to show, so. Um Hold on. Give me one sec. Um, I have these sets, I guess. Mm. I have some of these sets here. I did the thing and set CRP? Wait, I thought you said striker and then are we going back to CRP? Hold on. First of all, I'm gonna hydrate. I think I'm a little dehydrated. Avo said hand by for typing test though. Space Cadet? Mmm, Space Cadet is a good choice. Mizu? Mizu is the same choice as the as the prototype photos that Kanki's posted, yeah. Well there's no avoiding there's no avoiding um our dearest, our dearest hander bite. So people will have to hear one typing test of hander bite, and then I'll go get the other one anyway. So y'all aren't getting away with this because someone, someone, someone spent ten thousand channel points just to see this, to make it happen. Okay. And I specifically made it even. I made it even so that you would have to spend the points. 
Yeah. And you cannot redeem Hander by as the actual set to use. <laughs> So Classic Blue could work, yeah. Classic Blue, Miami Knights could work, yeah. Uh, Miami Knights might be a little... Actually, hmm, might look good because of the dark tones. No numpad in Modern Dolge? Uh, that's Modern Dolge Round 2, I think, right? Wait, or did Modern Dolge Round 1 also have no numpad? Did Modern Dolge Round 1 have numpad? I don't remember. R2 no numpad, yeah. Round one did have it though. I think. I just, ugh, just keep forgetting. Get, get my sets confused nowadays. At least we know that Handerbite does have a numpad. So we can use it. GMK tray? Yeah, imagine, right? Imagine having an actual tray instead of the absolute garbage we get from GMK. Dang, Handerbite is awful. <laughs> I love pe seeing people's visceral reactions to Handerbite every so often. It's, it's truly amusing. We're only using Handerbite because someone spent their precious channel points for it. But I'll 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 go get a different key set in due time. Don't worry about it. <clears throat> I, I'm just respecting people's wishes, okay? But it actually doesn't look half as bad, I think. I think the purple numpad actually looks kinda nice on the navy. <laughs> Well, Handerbite is based on something real. As in like, it's based on something that actually was displayed at a conference. So it has a history element to it. <clears throat> this is the most I've ever liked Handerbite so far. That's interesting. I thought you just liked it. Or maybe you disliked it, but you know, I wanted to see people react to it. Well, this actually looks kind of nice. <laughs> All right, let's see. All right, it's working. Let's see, let's get a uh, typing test opened up. The Afro has a lot of pink, I like it without it. I do agree. Do Space Cadet, do Space Cadet, I claim my 5k points. Okay, sounds good. I'll do it right after this. Alright. Ooh, this, this kind of does look... Did the USB cable feel weird to put in? Uh, not in my case because my USB cable actually kind of has a bit longer of an exposed port. But no. Didn't feel too weird. Um, it would pause. So I think that this this old old design is still okay. It's mostly because it's USB C. I think it's okay. If it were USB like Mini B, that would be kind of tragic.
Alright, um, let me get the... Sorry, just like... Organizing my window here. built by Avery? Well, yeah. Uh, he's having, like, five of them built, so, yeah. <laughs> oh, I thought that was, like, dust. Alright, let's see. I'm so late. You're not late. You're good. Alright. Let's turn off this. Let's turn off my AC. Let's open up typing test here and Alright. So. Okay. Let's let's get to it. Here we go. Exclamation build for the details, but basically this is stock dark amber T1s on an FR4 plate um, on a balanced prototype. Here we go. Oh wait, it's set to 30 seconds, let's do 60. This actually sounds really nice. This is stock. It sounds really good. Mmm. Let's, let's, let's get it one more try. I'm gonna take all my headphones for this though. Sounds like a keyboard. Mm. Yeah, no, this sounds really good stock. It sounds pretty good stock. The spacebar. Mm. 
Yeah, space bar does sound really nice. Yeah, this sounds really good. Um, how does it feel? It sounds. It feels pretty comfy. It's like very. Like I don't want to say it's like bouncy or anything, but it's like comfortable to type on. It's a very comfortable to type on. But yeah, okay. So here are the mods. Spacebar. Shoot, it's gonna play music, isn't it? <laughs> Sorry, it's like programmed to do stuff, so yeah. Is it not clickable? Yeah, it's uh, you can tap it. Right now it's a pause play, so it plays the music. No, this sounds really good. This sounds really good. Does it have spring ping? Uh, I think stock. It does have a like teeny bit of spring crunch, but it's not like crazy. I think you could easily get rid of it if you just tub lube your springs or something. If you're gonna mod them anyway. Uh, left shift sounds a bit crunchy. Uh, yeah, maybe. Maybe it's a switch. Yeah. Could be a switch. Backspace. Yeah, it could be a switch. Cause yeah, for stock though, it's pretty good for stock switches. I think factory loop pretty good these days. Yeah, yeah. No, this is pretty good for factory loop switches. I mean, there's definitely worse. I've definitely heard way worse for factory loop switches. So yeah. Um, but yeah, no, I like I like this. And we can definitely try, uh, what was it? Space Cadet? We can try looking at Space Cadet. Let's do Space Cadet then. Where is my switch puller? Here it is. Sandstorm would look, would look really good, yeah. And sandstorm would look good too, yeah. I would agree.
I did build a I did build a navy uh, constellation before and put sandstorm on it uh, at some point before. There should be photos of that on my website most likely. Other 60% boards mid tier, would you recommend? Thank you. Um, 60%? Maybe like a TX60 would be kind of nice. What's your favorite configuration for the 7V? Uh, I like the 6U version of it, but I think because a lot of sets are not shipping with 6U space bars, uh, 7U. 7U could look, uh, I mean, sorry, 6.25U 6, 6 is probably maybe more convenient for this 7V. For the bottom row. Yeah. Music loud, fam? Is that just me? Oh, okay, so maybe it is loud. Is that better? Uh, sorry, it's, it could be loud because of, uh, Maybe it's the maybe the knob does that. Um, is that better? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Maybe the knob changed it on OBS. I don't know. That was weird. Compared to your voice, it was loud? Oh yeah, it's also because my mic was not oriented, uh, pointing my way. Alright, so, Space Cadet, right? Descent won't work either IMO. Well, the blue isn't like, yeah, it's not gonna match for sure. But I think the gray looks pretty nice against the navy. I don't think you're, I mean, I don't know. I don't, I personally don't really think that sets need to match perfectly. They can complement each other. Where's the zero key here? Blue set would work nice, yeah. Classic blue would probably look pretty good on on this too. Like Rudy or something. Rudy will look good, yeah. I don't have Rudy though, so no Rudy for for me to show y'all. Shoko. Shoko could look good, yeah. Another blue set. Light blue. I 
at Genesis. Hey there, hope everything's a okay. Things are a okay. Thank you so much for asking. Uh, Diego, is that the Hanok Deathmat? It is the Hanok Deathmat indeed. It is indeed the Hanok Deathmat. Have a great rest of stream, Diego. I'm off. Sounds good. Nine Walker, take care. How can you compare FR4 to Palm Plate? I'll say Palm Plate is softer. Planning to use Black Inks and or Direct Palm with it. Yeah, so Palm Plate is definitely going to be softer than FR4. Much more flexible. FR4 is still relatively more rigid. Uh, relatively, uh, relatively, it's like a rigid material, yeah. Whereas Palm is a very, very flexible. Did I miss hand by typing test? You indeed have. It was brief, but it happened twice. Great middle ground between metal and palm. Yep, I do agree. Uh, I need to find my zero key. I don't know where it is. Oh, I think it's my... Okay, I think I know where it is, but... First impressions of the board, it sounds really good, first of all. Uh, feels very comfy, too, for what it's worth. I think... For stock switches, and this is what it sounds like, I would imagine that... A uh, nice set of lube switches would sound very, 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 very nice on this board. is mm, I think it's in my yeah, it's in my other kit section but yeah kind of looks great on the navy yeah hold on I'll be right back guys I'm gonna go get the last key cap really fast BRB oops Alright, found that last cap. Put an artisan on this. Put this cool glyco grip. Alright, there it is. Let's
All right. All righty, all righty. Still can't find the last group. <laughs> In terms of quality, is this on par with the Satisfaction 75? Uh, I personally like this board more than the Satisfaction 75. <laughs> uh, layout wise, and if I will have to have a knob, I would rather have it on here than on the Satisfaction 75, to be honest with you. Yep, that's how I feel about it. Here it is now with Space Cadet. So let's give this one a shot. All right. Oh, we're back. Oops. Oh, whoever was wondering about the knob, uh, no gap. And I haven't started typing. So, <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. Uh, my stream dies every so often, and I have no idea why. <laughs> it's just internet issues, I think. All right. Um, wait. Can you choose a theme? Oh, there's no space cadet themed. Uh, is there something nice and bluish? Hmm. It's not. I don't like these themes though. Ooh, you no. Let's go back. Yo, Moon, hello. Are you going to NK meetup? I might. Ooh, pause. Uh, I'm checking my availability for October. But if I am, I will. I will definitely go. I'll definitely try to go. Yeah, I'm looking into it though. All right, let's have a typing test here. Here we go. Kanaki's meetup in New England. Oh, I wouldn't mind going to to Providence for a meetup, to be honest with you. 
Providence is nice. Alright. Here's the mods one more time. Number row sounds really good, yeah. Yeah, no, these uh, stock T ones sound really good on the board, even without uh, being properly lubed and uh, switch film and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, no, it's really good. you guys the board up close now all right here it is the balance by Kenakis looks really nice this colorway is also mm-hmm a plus Front lip is really good. I do really like the front lip on it too. Um, you just sold me in Space Cadet. <laughs> it's a great colorway, in my opinion. Yeah. Bottom just peaks with the silver right there. Looks really good, in my opinion. Sheesh! Says Mr. Gion works. Welcome, Mr. Gion. Sheesh. Look at those sides. Balance with the drip. But yeah, it looks good. Side profile is good. There's the back. With the knob, as you can see. Very clean. This navy is gorgeous, though. It's absolutely gorgeous. A little dirty on the underside. I know I'm missing a screw. I couldn't find the. I couldn't find the screw. <laughs> uh, the last one, I it flew off, and I couldn't find it again. Wait. Oh, uh, I can wait. One more sec. It weighs. Do you ever find random springs and films around your house? Yeah, I feel I find random springs, films, switch films, uh, like, uh, yeah, like sometimes like small, like M2 screws, things like that, often pop up in random places. It's pretty annoying, but yeah, 
Happens all the time. <laughs> Alright. This weighs built is 1.72 kilograms. About. 1.72 kilograms, which is gonna be 3 pounds and almost 13 ounces. Did some science weighting on top of a decimal gives you a different weight? That could be possible. Uh, normal force and all that considered. I mean, if you would like me to try it without a mat, I can do it. I'm pretty sure it's not... It's not gonna be a big difference though, pretty sure. Maybe this is how we find the screw though. Okay, hold on, let me see if I can like... Sit on the cable. Oh shit. Sit on the cable. Same thing. Same weight. Same weight. I mean, plus minus a few grams. 1.72 kilograms. It does weigh, it, it is a little lighter for a larger board, but that's also because there's no brass weight. There's no brass weight or anything like that inside. Um, it's a nice weight in my opinion for a board like this. I don't think I would want to have a very heavy board actually. I actually think I would rather not have a very heavy board. Alu accent, this is correct, alu accent. Alu accent here, these are alu accents, and then the pieces are uh, two color. So there's a bottom piece that's silver and a top piece that's navy. Yeah. And uh, this is an accent piece as well, basically. The daughter board um, holder and there's a screw underneath it too. But yeah, very nice though. How long is it? As long as. Um, sorry, I was gonna say something inappropriate, but, but maybe let's not say that. Let me go get a. Let me go get a. a my uh, tape measure. It's... 16 inches actually, exactly 16 inches, pretty much. 16 inches and... It's like 16 by 5 in inches. Oh, Dennis, hello. Yeah. I mean, centimeters, this is like... Can't tell, it's like... I mean, front is like maybe... Front is maybe like... Seven, sixteen, seventeen? Seventeen? Eighteen millimeters? Something like that. 407 by 121 from IC. There you go. Forty centimeters. Yep, yep, yep. I mean, so here's a TKL for reference. This is a TKL. This is the balance. I mean, it has a numpad, so I would expect it to be longer. So, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Hope that helps. Any other questions y'all have? What board is that on top? This is an LZMP. LZ Masterpiece. Oh, 
One more sound test? Sure, I can do that. Last one. <laughs> I've done it a few times now, so. That's a red plate? Uh, yeah, there's a red plate underneath, yeah. Yep, yep. There indeed is a red plate underneath those caps. All right, here we go. Mods. Matching shirt keycaps and keyboard. <laughs> it was not intentional that this shirt was matching. Actually, it was it was that was actually accidental because I actually did not know what color today's keyboard was gonna be. I actually did not know hadn't opened it at all before, so I actually didn't even know that this was gonna be blue today. <laughs> yeah, that was coincidental. Yeah, that's what we got today. So yeah, if you have any thoughts or questions, feel free to share. Feel free to ask in chat and tag me. But other than that, I think we are pretty much done for for today. Um, how do magnets work? Oh, if I told you about the magnetic field we can start from Maxwell's equations if you like your favorite normal shifts look so long I like them actually I actually like the look of uh, regular shifts on these on this layout all right let's see Uh, there's a few people streaming still. Uh, there's Basic Builds doing some chores. Dr. Huru building a Vertigo by Enigma Keyboards. I see uh, Keyworm doing a Plume 65 build. 
there's someone I don't know, but their name is 401 Jason. They're doing a Tofu 65 build for a friend of theirs. Uh, and then there's some other people here and there that I don't recognize, but they... There might be some other keyword people too. Huru, take us that. <laughs> we can raid a uh, key worm. We, we haven't raided key worm before, so could be good too. Plume 65 sounds interesting too. Yeah. All right. Before we before I do that, I'm just gonna put this. Uh, For those who didn't check out, I got these stickers from my keyboard.eu and for those who didn't see the poster, we went over it. But I actually bought a frame here. This large frame, also it's really hot in my room now. So I got this frame and I'm gonna place this poster in the frame. that let's see there it is this poster Ooh, I need one wait Mendez I think shouldn't they be sending you one you're featured on it right there so I feel like they would send you one but yeah that's what it looks like can't see much so Also, why is Mendes not VIP? I can VIP Mendes. VIP. Done. Where are you gonna hang it? I'm not sure actually. Um, I might move some of those frames over here over to a different wall and hang it there because this is more keyboard related. Uh, but I have a wall over here that I could hang it. Um, so I'm I'm still I'm still debating where exactly I'm gonna hang it, but it's gonna be in my room, yeah. Yep, yep. Anyway, yeah. It's amazing work for sure. So yeah, big thanks to Crash, uh, my keyboard EU for organizing the commission. Um, it's really amazing stuff. I am very honored to be featured in it. Um, I am featured as some sort of 
Dalai, <laughs> some sort of keyboard monk, which is a little odd and a little uh, embarrassing. <laughs> I have to say I, I'm a little shy about this, but yeah, uh, apparently there's a reason for it that they said something about knowledge and respectability and something, but still mad JD and Ron didn't get featured. <laughs> <laughs> Just get that blown up poster size. Oh man. Maybe I'll ask Crash about it. <laughs> I'm getting a like an like a like a vector graphic or something that I can blow up in a bigger format. <laughs> Could be fun. All right. I think um, I'm gonna finish stream here. Uh, just gonna. Organize a raid here. We're gonna go raid. I think we should go raid Keyworm. Uh, I've raided Huru several times before. I do want to raid someone new. Um, so let's go try check out um, Keyworm, who is currently building a Plume 65. So again, imagine being Simon, seeing yours, then seeing him in Eggplant car. <laughs> <laughs> Did he say something about it? <laughs> I think I'll be amused. Alright, so we're gonna raid um, Keyworm. Hey, maybe the eggplant car is cooler though. I mean, I don't know. Anyway, everyone, thanks again for coming by stream, uh, for checking out this balance prototype with me. Um, I had a lot of fun checking this out. And I personally um, like it very much. Um, yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed the build. And yeah, it's gonna be on Group Buy starting this Friday. Um, so you know, check out Cannon Keys once uh, it's live. If you're interested in it, uh, it comes in different colors. All the links are all the all the info is on the Geek Hack thread right there. Um, but yeah. If you need any other information, you can feel free to join my Discord and my social to ask. And again, thank you everybody for those who are following on Instagram. Again, we hit 10k today and I'm very, very thankful for y'all's support. Uh, thank you so much for all of the enthusiasm and all the support. I really, really appreciate it. And yeah, have a good night everybody. Uh, let's go raid and say, let's just say... Let's just say lightning read. Just just something simple. Alright, friends. Thank you so much. Have a good night. I'll see you on the next one, okay? Alright, see everyone. <laughs>